I'm just waiting a second here. I um, I had planned to talk about something else today, but then yesterday the message came out about Twitch, who is a um, was the producer and co-host, I would almost say, for the Ellen Show, that he um, committed suicide. So I start my book with a little dedication. I was just going to read it to you here. Um, I have the page open, of course. Now I lost it. The, so my book is dedicated to all souls, to all souls who have been lost to suicide and mental illness. And may we all extend our hands in grace to someone we know who is suffering. So I've been on both sides of the suicide story, if you will, from having attempted myself a few times and also from um, losing a, uh, a cousin of a boyfriend that I had been dating for a couple of years. And I, I may have shared this in the past, but I'll just share it again. When, so this fellow's name, his name was Matt. And when he, so I would go to Sunday dinners, family Sunday dinners every, uh, usually every week. And I would sit across the table from Matt and I would know, I knew that he was suffering and struggling and I, I couldn't reach my hand across that table. I, I couldn't open up about myself. I had just survived a suicide attempt uh, a year prior and that was my second one. And I was so stuck in the stigma and the shame of that experience of being diagnosed with a mental illness that I couldn't even say anything to to Matt, like, hey, I, I get it, like, you know, I, could, I couldn't even say that. And so when he, he, when he died, I, I got to um, really, I, I felt, you know, most people feel really guilty when somebody that they care about um, dies in this manner. And I, I think that one thing we want to understand is that it's really it's just really complex right there's so many layers to that state when someone gets to that state and and i don't know this fellow twitch (laughs) but i do know that i watched him on tv and and i and and you think that um like you know you just think that it's not going to happen. You know, I didn't, you know, who thought it was going to happen to anybody, but here's the thing. It happens and it happens a lot. And the question we should be asking ourselves is how, why, why, why is that? Why is it happening so much? This is something that is on the rise. It was on the rise before the pandemic, the mental health crisis and problem is not a new thing. This should not be new for anybody. But yet when it happens, especially to somebody famous, everybody is all in disbelief and shock. And it's and it does shine the spotlight on 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 suicide and, and mental health. But here's the thing, it's happening every single day. And what are we actually doing about it? What are we doing about it? And then how do we how do we handle the grief of all of this and and the aftermath and and even even me, who who I don't know this this person, um, but you know because he's a he's a celebrity, many people know him, and you feel like you know him. I I felt like oh gosh, it's my fault. I didn't send my copy of my book to El- the Ellen Show, <laughs> like as if that would have made a difference. Who knows? Who knows? But even me had that thought like, oh, I'm to blame. You know, I'm not out there enough, you know, trying to help people. I I could be doing better. And so grief is the price we pay for love. That is a quote, I believe, by Queen Elizabeth. 
So grief is the price we pay for love. And so this is a part of life that we don't do very well in our society. We don't we don't do mental health very well. We don't do depression very well. We don't do anxiety very well. We don't do, I'm, I'm getting emotional here. We don't do suicide very well. And we don't do grief very well. Like if we were going to give you know, society a, a report card, a collective report card, I think we would be failing on all these fronts. Right? We don't do addiction very well. There's just so much. We don't do compassion very well. And so I just wanted to say that um, hopefully this, you know, doesn't, doesn't um, happen in vain, that perhaps um, we as a society will, will learn to, to reach out at it's a very difficult thing because because the person who's suffering um, isn't always forthcoming with that suffering. And so it's a very silent process that doesn't have a visible, um, doesn't always have a visible, um, what am I trying to say, an, an outward representation. Like I, I know in many cases with depression, there is an outward representation, but I also know that in many cases, people are wearing masks, right? They're projecting to the world an image that they want the world to see. So of, you know, of joy, of perfection, of um, never letting you see your, your, yourself sweat, of, oh, I've got it all together, all, all these kinds of things. Those should be the red flags and the warning signs, actually, that no, you know what? There's something it may not be all together there. But it's really hard to make somebody talk uh, or get help when they may not recognize that they need it. So anyway, I feel like I'm just talking in circles here. So I am going to um, leave you, I guess, with that. And I I will just say that um, please do your best to, you know, ex- extend your hand in, in, in uh, service to someone that you know that might be suffering. And even someone that you don't, you know, maybe you don't know that they're suffering. But extend your hand anyway. Because <laughs> I think if we all extended our hands and took, took that, t- that moment to, to send that message or to make that phone call, that you never know. You just never know. Just like we never know in these situations who's actually gonna, going to, to take their life. Um, we also never know who needs to hear a message of support from you. So when you're finished listening to this, then, you know, pick up the phone and get off Instagram. <laughs> pick up the phone and call somebody. And if you don't know who to call, then just tune into yourself and ask, who should I call? And see what name comes forth. See what your intuition has to say. And if you don't feel you have that connection with your intuition, then just scroll through your phone and then, you know, dot and see where your finger stops and whoever's name it falls on, call them. So that's what I'm going to do right now. So sending you all... Lots of love and um, and and uh, and compassion 